Another question from someone uh, asking about the best time to conceive and what parts of their chart would I look at? Um, well, there are the moon cycles, of course, which is, is pretty kind of mainstream knowledge, really. But if I was able to see into their proper natal chart and I got the time of birth for that, then I might look at other things as well. I might look at where, what Saturn's doing at the moment. I might look at what Venus is doing at the moment and the receptivity of Venus. Um, I would definitely look at the moon. Um, and I would look to see whether there was any help or interference coming from, you know, uh, the disruptions of Uranus or the confusions of Neptune or the um, intensity of Pluto and see whether they, you know, what sort of mood they're in currently in the life. They move very, very slowly. The faster moving ones are Moon, Venus and uh, relatively fast is Saturn. Uh, but when I looked into their chart, I might see that one of their ruling planet, um, their sun, um, had a ruling planet and that it's very always very important to look at the ruling planet as well and it would be also uh, relevant to look at the the, ha the pattern of the, the whole pattern of the chart as well and the transits that were going on at the moment so I really without seeing a chart can't be specific because every single natal chart I do is like um, tailor-made you know because every single natal chart moment is a unique one but in a general way I would try to be aware of Moon very much so Venus yeah um, Saturn because Saturn is the kind of the foundation you know it's the holding protecting building energy for a pregnancy not only to take but then but 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 then to uh, prevail um, without anything you know happening so, yeah, the, the, those are the general areas, but like I say, there might be very, very different ones depending on the rising sign, depending on the spread of the planets and the pattern, but thank you very much for your question.